Veracity was just listed on Bybit a few minutes ago, as you guys can see right here, currently traded at 006273. And we can see right here that Bybit is actually, in fact, on spot a top 10 exchange. And on derivative, it is a top two exchange. So in this video, guys, we're obviously going to be having a look at Veracity. There's no question about that. Currently making a nice little move to the upside, breaking this long term downwards trend, as you guys can see. And of course, we know that the trend is your friend. So, so far, this is holding pretty, pretty nicely. If you guys like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Of course, leave a like, turn notification bells on so you never miss a video. Let's have a look on CoinMarketCap to see what is happening. So first of all, the volume of VRA is currently sitting at $34 million, which is half of the market cap. So we're seeing half of the market cap currently being traded. That is fantastic news. Currently ranked 333 with 383,000 people on the watch list traded at 006423. So we are making little nice moves right now. We are actually in fact up 41% since this bottom right here, as you guys can see, 37. I mean, at the top, we were 44. And VRA is making nice moves right here. So what can we see from this exchange? Well, first of all, guys, Bybit is a top 10 exchange and spot. Now, even though it's not listed on derivatives yet, which is what we really want, the spot is not really the best thing ever. I'm not going to lie, because look at the trading volume on spot. It is only eight hundred and seventy six million dollars. Now, if it was listed on Binance or Kraken or something like that, then obviously it would make a whole different story, right? Because we want a lot of spot volume. We don't want derivative volume. But if we look at on markets right here, it's still a top 10 exchange, guys. And it's still obviously a very, very good sign. Now, Bybit is obviously a massive exchange. And we can see that we are added to this all to all these spot pairs right here. So we're listed on KuCoin, Bitfinex, Bitrex, Gate.io, OKX, UOB, Probit, Crypto.com, which is also a massive exchange, is MEXC. So we are obviously in a lot of these exchanges being X. So what can we expect from this move? Well, right here, it seems like we are dumping a little bit, but that's only because of Bitcoin. So before I get into a small TA on VR, VRA, I do want to talk about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is king, guys, and there's no question about that. So we can see Bitcoin right here. I mean, 21st of February, as you guys can see on the four hour time frame, we clearly been in a downtrend ever since. We finally broke above it. So if you guys remember, there was the whole USDC FUD, uh, B, uh, BUSD, GUSD, and DAI. And guess what happened over the weekend? Boom, we exploded yesterday. And now we're essentially coming back down, retesting potentially this resistance that flipped into support before making higher highs. So we're going to have to see where this goes and when the market opens in America, which is in three hours, essentially. So this is that on Bitcoin. Now, if Bitcoin keeps dumping, then we're obviously going to see VR keep dumping. That's a fact. I mean, Bitcoin right now, as you guys can see on the right side of my screen, is currently down. And guess what? 85% of the altcoins are currently in red right now. But VRA is currently holding this this support right here, which is obviously a very, very good sign. If we have a look at some of the exponential moving average, we are back above these EMA ribbons, guys, one more time. And as you guys can see, when we broke below the exponential moving averages right here, we were actually very, very, very bearish. I mean, we were trending to the downside. And guess what happened? We broke above it, came back down, retested, boom. And now these exponential moving average are essentially holding us as a support region, which is exactly what we want to see. We want to see these these EMA ribbons flipping bullish. OK, so the last time we saw this happening was actually right here, right? When we saw that massive, massive move. Boom. Guess what happened? We were bullish, bullish, bullish. Boom. Came back and always retested these EMA ribbons. We always came back down, retested. And these EMA ribbons essentially held us as a nice support region. So this is exactly what we want to see right now on VRA. And this is exactly what we're seeing. If we have a look at some of the moving averages, the regular moving averages, we could see that we're still below the 200 moving average, which is obviously not the best sign. Being above the 200 moving average is good. But if we have a look on the 200 moving average on the daily, we can see very, very positive news right here. We can see that we got a beautiful, beautiful rejection right here exactly at the 200 moving average. VRA got rejected exactly at the 200 moving average. I'm going to say it one more time. And this is very, very good news. I mean, look at that, guys. We haven't been above the 200 moving average since the 20th of December 2021. So that's a long time. And guess what happened? We made a crazy move to the upside, came back down, kissed it 
exactly 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 the 200 moving average before bouncing back up so this is why technical analysis does matter a lot of people don't believe in it but guess what when i wrote a video yesterday and i wrote a tweet that i said i bought vra right here a lot of people said oh how's that going didn't you buy veracity right here yeah guess what i did i bought right here right here and right here it's called buying the dip this is what i do i buy the dip i accumulate in this bear market because even if you bought right here it's still way cheaper than buying all the way up here. And this is what a lot of people don't understand is that they, they think that, oh, just because it's going down, that's it, you lost your money. Yes, in the short term, but if you have a look on the longer time frame, you're obviously gonna be making more money. So this is my video, guys, on Veracity, my very short update. Hopefully, we're gonna see big things from Bybit. Hopefully, we're gonna see a lot of volume happening and a lot of trading happening with Bybit. If you guys like this video, of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, leave a like, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.